Hey, it's Adam with Tech AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18, but today, if you have Movie Studio Platinum, you can also follow along because the audio stuff is pretty much exactly the same. The easier this will be, this will be easier and easier and easier, the louder the voice is and the softer the background music, because that's essentially what we'll be isolating is the loudness of the voice. Um, but uh, you can still definitely do it uh, if it's not that different. Now, this is a short film that uh, I made for the purpose of letting you edit. If you have bought my Udemy course, you've probably, you may have edited this short film, uh, but uh, it's, 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 not, it's not an Emmy winning film but it's it's definitely a film that is uh, a little fun to edit it's got all the different shots and everything you need to edit and learn to edit so check out my Udemy course if you want to edit this yourself try your hand at it but uh, I got some pretty crappy music behind it just as a point of of showing how to add different background music what magic beans actually I'm investing in gold now gold huh did he sell you pyrite? So you can hear uh, that there's uh, kind of a Middle Eastern, um, um, spooky, Indiana Jonesy kind of vibe. Pyrite looks like gold, but it's not. It's it's very adventurous music behind it. Let's remove that music. So to do that, first off, what we need to do is isolate only the parts where we're talking. And again, we're going to do this by volume. So we're also going to do this with tracks. You can do these with the. Uh, clip effect. So if you go to the event and add a, an effect to the event, you can do that, but we're not going to do that because of what we're going to have to do in the future. Uh, you'll see you'll see this is going to be a lot easier because we're going to be layering things. So go to your hamburger menu, go to track effect, and then uh, we're going to go to the track noise gate, which is already on your track by default, but it's not really doing anything. It's very weak. So what a noise gate is, is it finds something at a certain volume and it says anything at that volume is acceptable, I will play it. Anything below that volume, I will remove it. So since the voice is the loudest thing, we need to find a threshold that only has the voice. Sorry, I'm late. I just met the world's greatest salesman. Oh, no. What'd you do? Why'd you buy this? Don't count on me. This is a good What? Magic beans? Actually, I'm investing in gold now. Gold, huh? Did he sell you pyrite? He sold me a nugget, and it'll rise in value if I smelt it into a coin. Oh yeah, he sold you pyrite. What's this have to do with pirate gold? Pyrite looks like gold, but it's not. It's it's shiny like gold, but it's too hard to be gold, and it's also not worth very much. Something like that. So you definitely don't want the voice being cut off, and we're going to fix that a little bit by the attack and release time. Um, what the attack time does is when you add more attack time, you're saying it takes longer for when something passes the threshold to start killing, uh, to start letting go of the audio. So that's how fast when something passes that volume threshold that will actually start playing the audio again. And the release time is how fast it will uh, stop playing the audio. So if you have a short release time, it'll stop playing the audio as, like really soon after it drops below the threshold. While a long release time will trail off, the audio will play for a while as it slowly gets quieter after it drops below the threshold. Um, so we're probably going to have a short attack time because we want to play pretty quick because we want to get the word in. But maybe a longer release time because volume, uh, when, you're t when you have people talking, they tend to start loud and trail off uh, as they go. Uh, so a lot of times words will start kind of loud and they'll end up a little softer as you speak. So, sorry, I'm late. I just met the world's greatest salesman. Oh no! What'd you do this time? What'd you buy? Oh yeah, he sold you pyrite. What's this have to do with pirate gold? Pyrite looks like gold, but it's not. It's it's shiny like gold, but it's too hard to be gold, and it's also not worth very much. Something like that exists. Let's just see it. Buy this time. This is a good one. What? Magic beans? Actually, what'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? Don't count on me yet. This is a good one. What? Magic beans? Actually, I'm investing in gold now. Gold, huh? Did he sell you pyrite? He sold me a nugget. What'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? Don't count on me yet. This is a good one. What? Magic beans? Actually, I'm investing in gold now. Gold, huh? All right. So when you got to a point where the music is uh, mostly dying when people aren't talking and you've got the words in there, that's the first step. So we've isolated a lot of the track here uh, to be just the words. But the next step is the most important step. Uh, we're going to hit add uh, this little plus green plus here to the effects chain. We're going to add an effect. And what we're going to add is a graphic EQ and hit add and OK. And you want to make sure this comes at the end of your 
uh, tracks here. Don't touch these two. Uh, just go to your Graphic EQ and go to the 20 band. This is great for teaching. You can use this or even your Track EQ for yourself. But for me, uh, to show you exactly what I'm doing, it's much easier to show you the uh, isolated bands. So what this is, is this is high frequencies and low frequencies, your woos and your wahs, you know. Uh, and voice usually happens between about like 80 and 225. This little section right here is only really where voice is. Um, if you got high high squeaky voices uh, or super low booming voices, you might trail off into one direction or the other. But really, kind of this little section right here is the only place you're going to hear voice. Uh, and we don't need anything else. We don't need the low lows and the high highs. So we're going to turn all of these down. So first, let's start by turning everything down. Now we can double click on the ones that we want to go back to their normal volume. Let's start with this 113. And it won't just have the 113 band, it'll slowly, it just really, if you go to the envelope, you'll see it slowly goes up and back down. It cuts off everything but this little range here. So you're really dealing with a range with the slider, but it's a great way to show you more precisely what I'm doing. Uh, so, but if you want to deal with the range a little more precisely on your table, then go ahead and, and you can mess with the graphic. But I want you to see what I'm doing here. So we've got the 113 back, let's listen. So you can hear mostly just the voice, and it actually cuts out a lot of the music, um, but we really don't have a very good quality of the voice, especially because uh, I had some limitations with my miking for this thing. So it's uh, to get more of the voice back, let's add another band. Let's double click on the other band here and get them back to their normal and listen. So then let's add the 225 band back as well, and that should bring a lot of the clarity in and the higher pitch noises. What'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? Don't tell me yet. What'd you do? What? Magic Queen? Actually, I'm investing in gold now. Gold, huh? Did you sell your pyrite? You sold me a nugget, and you're aligned in value by something to a coin. So that sounds mostly normal. Uh, let's add the 322 band back, but only at half, and listen. Uh, what'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? Don't tell me yet. What'd you do? What, Magic Queen? Actually, I'm investing in gold now. Gold, huh? Did you sell your pyrite? You sold me a nugget, and you're aligned in value by something to a coin. Alright, so... What, Magic Queen? Actually, I'm a Now the audio sounds a bit more normal, and you can get this to more exactly where you want it. Uh, but see this little shape we've made? Uh, we're going to make that shape as small as possible, because we're pretty much going to be using these same bands that we've isolated. Um, but we want it to where, when we turn it up, the only thing that makes it into the audio, the only thing that's actually being heard by the computer is the loudest voice because the music, even though you can still hear it in these bands, you can still hear it. You're not hearing the highest of the highs of the music and the lowest of the lows, but you can still hear all the mid-tones of the music. So um, you want it to where the music is so, so quiet that it can't be duplicated anymore. Um, so we're going to have this pretty much barely on. And these these little three sections will just be barely, barely, barely on here. So now, hopefully, when you listen to it, you guys probably won't be able to hear a thing, but I should be able to hear just a little bit. You can see over here, there's still just a little, little bit of information. Just an in, almost infinitesimally small bit of information. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this a billion times to where when you duplicate audio, when you duplicate the track, right click and hit duplicate, you play the same audio twice. Now when you're playing the same audio twice, what happens is there's a volume effect happens that it, it, the volume, overall volume of the piece rises. So when you see now it's getting higher and then we can duplicate it again. And now it's getting higher and we can duplicate it again. 
what the hope is, is if you've isolated this correctly, uh, well, you can duplicate it a ton of times, and the only thing it's adding volume back to, the only thing is that little bit of waveform you've left of the part where the voice was louder than the music. So that you should just have the voice isolated right there, and the only thing you're adding back when you duplicate it is you're only duplicating the section, so you're only adding volume to that section. So I, I could start hearing the volume. I could still hear just a little bit of the music. So I want to try and even squish it out just a little bit more by making it just even quieter here. All right, so here we are at 100 tracks, and we're starting to get back to a volume which is intelligible. Now, ideally, you'll want the voice between the 3 and 9 on the output meter, but uh, this is getting close enough for uh, our purposes here. So what I want to show you is what's happening is you can hear where we've restored the voice, and you can still hear just a little bit of music because it all depends before you start duplicating a track how well you've isolated voice. And it's not a magic trick. You will still have artifacts because you've had something blended together and you're trying to unblend them and there will still be little pieces of the thing in there that you're trying to unblend. So with that caveat. Thank you, Lana. Sorry, wait. I just met the world greatest salesman. Oh no. What'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? So that's that's still at a pretty low volume, but let me bring this over and uh show you. See we're at track 103 here. Now um this track I'm playing this on it doesn't have anything uh, done to it. So this is a, the normal sound. Took you long enough. Sorry, I'm late. I just met the world's greatest salesman. Oh, no. What'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? Don't get so now I've lowered it to a volume that is uh, about the same as the volume that we are for the purposes of this tutorial. Uh, you can see, you can hear a ton of the background music. Took you long enough. Sorry, I'm late. I just met the world's greatest salesman. Oh, no. What'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? Don't get on me yet. This is a good one. What, magic beans? Actually, I'm investing in gold now. All right, so listen to what we've achieved. Took you long enough. Sorry, I'm late. I just met the world's greatest salesman. Oh, no. What'd you do this time? What'd you buy this time? Don't get on me yet. This is a good one. What, magic beans? Actually, I'm investing in gold now. Gold, huh? Did you so while there's still some of the music left in there, that's your best bet when you're trying to pull out a pre-mixed audio. You're trying to just pull the voice out of something. So that's the difference. Uh, that's how much this effect can achieve. Like, again, don't expect miracles, but this is how you do it. And it really just depends on how mixed they are, how different the volume is. The disparity between the how high the voice is versus how low the music is, is really going to affect how well this is going to work for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more. If you want to edit this piece and do a better job than I did or learn how to do this step by step, uh, including some of the creative decisions on how you would edit a short film like this, check out my Udemy course. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.